Well, just as a few thoughts, really, this morning. You are precious in my eyes, and I love you, is our verse that we had a few moments ago. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had anyone in your life, anyone who's precious to you, anyone precious to you, and they've actually deeply offended you or hurt you in some way? Anyone ever been in that situation where someone who's really precious to them has really upset them in a big way? Anyone ever had that experience? I know I have. Yeah? Someone is kind of, you know, you, you, they're really special to you, but they haven't treated you morally or ethically very well, you could say, to put it in those terms. Yeah? Well, that's how Israel had treated God when, we, when that verse was written. And I think when you're particularly close to someone, it hurts even more when they've really upset you because they're especially precious, so therefore it hurts even more when they've really let you down in some way. And I've had that experience myself. But here's the funny thing. Now, this has been my experience. The person is still precious to me even when they have really hurt me. Anyone ever been in that situation that in spite of what they've done, because they're precious, you know, you, you still find them precious even when they've really hurt you. And for me, when I think about that, I think it gives us a, a little bit of a glance at how God feels. You see, everywhere people offend God. They make mistakes left, right and centre. And if you didn't believe me, just look at the world. Isn't, that, isn't the world the way God did not intend it to be? People everywhere are offending God. And I think because God is so holy and pure, how he feels about it is far, far greater than how we feel when someone precious to us has really let us down. But here's the thing, and this is what God said to Israel, that in spite of their sin and how they were, God still regarded them as precious to him, loved by him and precious to him. And the fact is, my friends, every single person in the whole wide world, even though they have let God down in a big way, and I have in my own life many times, they're all still worth Jesus to God because that is the price he paid for them. And that's the situation we're in. God, who is right and proper and holy, and he's offended by things, and yet he says, you're still precious to me. I don't want you to be this way. You're still worth my son, can you not see world? Can you not see us today? And here's the most amazing thing, is that when we recognise that we've got it wrong, we can turn to this God who says, you're precious, and we can then experience the amazing thing that Jesus offers, and that is that as we respond to Jesus, we then realise how precious God is himself and how precious we are too. Because actually, Jesus is all about getting every single one of us into a relationship with Father God. That's what Jesus came for. And I think that's a wonderful thing to know. So to simply sum it up, one, we are precious to God, but two, it's only when we make Jesus precious to us do we really begin to see how precious we really are to God and then enter into that wonderful relationship that God has for us and to call him Father God, I wonder. Father, Father. So I hope this kind of balances out the service a bit today. Because I think it's very easy in the church just to talk about love and the Father and all that, and that's so important. But we need the other aspect of the gospel as well, to recognise we so need forgiving, we so need God to show his mercy to us, 
and for us to see that we are still precious to him, but he wants us to respond to him first so that all that can then follow on. I hope that what I've said today has been of help to somebody, that they might know today they're precious to God, valued by him. And if you ever want to talk to me about any of these things, I'm always around. And even if you don't want to talk to me about any of these things, I'm always around. So there you are. (laughs) God bless you today with this simple bit of teaching. You're precious in my eyes and I love you. So church, we need to enter into this. Because everything around us will tell us it's probably not true and our feelings will tell us it's not true. But the word of God says, you are precious to me, worth my own son. How do we respond to that today would be a good question. Let's pray for a minute, shall we?